Hello. In this video, I'm going to be simplifying expressions with one variable and just look at addition and subtraction. There is another video where I'm simplifying expressions and that's just dedicated to multiplication. Okay, time to get out your notebooks and pencils and start making some notes. Here's the first example. 15 plus 3 plus 2. What mathematicians love to do is to simplify where they can. Now I know we could work this out and we could very quickly work out that it's 20. But just supposing I wanted to write this subtract this addition problem as uh, something slightly shorter, something slightly simpler, then what could I do? Well I could see that the 3 and the 2, the add 3 and the add 2, combine together to make add 5. You can see that on the number line represented below. It's fairly straightforward. Okay. So 15 plus 5 is the same as 15 plus 3 plus 2. We've simplified it. And here it is summarized down at the bottom. Well, that works if I replace the number for a variable. So let's say n. Replace 15 for n. Now, if I add 3 and then add 2 to n, that's the same as just adding 5. Okay. And that's the same as just adding 5. Great. Next example. 20 plus 1 take away 4. This is where I find some people running into difficulties. But if you think about it, 20 add 1 and then take away 4. Well, that's just the same as 20 take away 3. Yeah, 20 add 1 then take away 4 is just the same as 20 take away 3. So we can simplify that whole calculation at the top to just 20 take away 3. Much easier. Okay, and I've summarized it down below. Again, that works if I switch things for variables. So I've replaced 20 for the letter n. n add 1 take away 4 is going to give me the same as n take away 3. Okay, this is where people really run into problems. 12 take away 1 take away 5. When I see people trying to simplify this, I get people saying 12 take away 4. 12 add 6, 12 take away 3, and all sorts of funny business. But let's look at the number line below for a moment, and you'll see what happens. 12 take away 1, first of all, and then take away 5. That can only be, surely, 12 take away 6 when it's simplified. Yeah, 12 take away 1, take away 5 is the same as 12 take away 6. Right? And I've summarized that down below. Again, that works nicely for algebra, so if I had an algebraic expression which said n take away 1 take away 5, such as this down here at the bottom, I could write that more simply as n take away 6. might sound obvious. It seems especially obvious when you draw out the number line. If I show you that as a quick bar model, hopefully you'll see also what's going on. So is a bar that represents n. I take away 1, so that's 1, and then I take away another 5, so that bit there is 5. So altogether, I've taken away 6. Yeah. Next one, write 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7. Plus seven. Okay, that can be shortened to seven times five, right? Repeated addition, we can use multiplication. So seven times five would have been shorter. Here's another example: three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three. Okay, all of those plus threes can be shortened down to multiplication, so we get three times six. It's the same with algebra. So we've got g plus g plus g plus g. A quick bar model would look like this. There's g, and then I'm going to add it onto itself so that I've done g plus g plus g plus g. Well, all of that can be simplified to g times 4, just like we've done in some of the examples above. Yeah. Okay, so you might bring those two together because you you don't need to write the multiplication sign in algebra. However, you'd never write g4 you would write 4g. Okay, the coefficient, coefficient is the number that comes before the variable, is just that. <laughs> it's the, it has to come before the variable. Okay, we can't have we can't have it afterwards. It has to be 
the number before the variable. So that's the coefficient it's called. It's the number that you multiply the variable by. So in in this bit here, then, 4 is called the coefficient of, of g. Yep, 4 is the coefficient of g. It means it's being times by g. Okay, another one. Whew, let's move on. 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9, take away 9. Right, so that, when you add 9 and then take away 9, that's almost like you didn't add anything at all, right? If you add 9 but then take it away, you kind of didn't really add anything. So what are we left with once we get rid of them? We're left with 9, add 9, add 9, okay, which we can shorten to 9 times 3. Here's another one. 9, add 9, add 9, add 9, but then take away 9, take away 9. Hmm. Well, we can simplify these last four. Because if you add 9 and add 9, but then take away 9 and then take away 9, you've basically not really added anything. So we get rid of them, and we've got 9 add 9, and that's 9 times 2 if you want to simplify it. And here we've got e add e add e, and then take away e. If I do a bar model, it would look something like this. So this is e and then I add on another E, and then I add on another E, but then, hold on, I take away E, all of that last one just goes, so they just vanish, and what are you left with? E times 2, not E2, 2E. Brilliant. We're flying. Right, 6B plus B. Let me just remind you, what 6b stands for, then you'll see what I'm doing here. 6b stands for b added to itself six times. Okay? So then if I add b, one more b, I've got 7b. Right, let's just see what I did there. I've got the b added to itself six times, but then I'm adding on one more b, because right, that was part of the initial question. What do you get? You get 7b. So let me just summarize that then. 6b plus b equals 7b. 6b plus 2b, well, let me remind you that 2b stands for b plus b, and 6b stands for b plus b plus b plus b plus b plus b. Then we're going to add on 2b, so how many b's have we got all together? 8b, brilliant. Summarized by that, 6b plus 2b equals 8b. Okay, a new one. 6b plus 2b take away 5b. Whew, well... We know that 6b plus 2b equals 8b. We've just done that above. Right, brilliant. So now we've got 8b take away 5b. A, whoop, hello. A bar model would look like this. So that's b, and then we've got 8 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But then we take away 5 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can see what we're left with, can't you? So 8b stands for all of those b, b's. 5b stands for all of those b's. We can cancel them out like that. And what are you left with? 3b. Brilliant. So to summarize, 8b take away 5b is 3b. OK. What's going on here then? 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. 5 times 10, right? Happy with that. OK. What about if we had 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 2? Well, we could simplify the all the 10 added to itself to 5 times 10, but we still have to add the 2. Yeah. So 10 add 10, add 10 add 10 add 10. It's 5 times 10, but we still have that add 2 on the end. Right, same with H's. So all of those H's can be shortened to 5H. All of those H's plus the 2 get shortened to... 5h plus 2. Now this is where people can start to get a little bit creative. In a mad, desperate attempt to simplify everything down to just one term, what some people will then write is 7h. Oh no, that is not what happens. Let's just rewind and look at what we've just watched. We've got h plus h plus h plus h plus h plus 2. Right Now, that simplifies to 5h plus 2. Who's to say that 2 can just be added onto 5h just like that and then call it 7h? Yeah, 
We can't do that. Let's have a look with a bar model. There's H. We've got five of them. And then we add two. I'll do that in a different color. Um, red. That bit's worth two. How do we know that that represents 7H? We don't. No, we'd have to make an assumption about what H is, which we're not really in a position to do. So this, my friends, is as simplified as that expression can get. Okay, that is it. They remain apart. You cannot then simplify the H's with the non-H's. This is a constant. It is always 2. It does not suddenly become 2H. So we do not add Right, so here's a few expressions. Some of them can be simplified, some of them can't. Some of them have already been simplified as far as they'll go. Let's have a look at that one. We've just looked at it. It's one that cannot be simplified because it already has been simplified. Let's look at this one, h plus 2. Well, that's kind of similar to this one, isn't it, really? h plus 2, I can't simplify that. It's already been simplified. Let's try this one here. Very similar, right? We've got some H's, then we've got a constant. We can't simplify it. Oh, huh. well, let's do that one too. Okay, we've also got a constant. We've got some H's, cannot be simplified. Oh, and this one down here, look. It's already been simplified. Can't do any more with it. These three, on the other hand, the ones in white, they can. 5H plus 2H, brilliant. They're from the same family. The H's, five of them, added onto another two of them, that's going to give me 7H altogether. And down here, oh no, down here, <laughs> 2H plus 5H, that's also going to give me 7H. Over here, 7H take away 5H, that's going to leave me with only 2H. Let's put those into, w into the correct columns. Right. Now can you see something that each column has in common? What I'm hoping that you can see on the left-hand side is that both terms here have the same variable. Yeah, these two terms also have the same variable. These two terms also have the same variable. Brilliant. So they can be simplified. So you'd get 7H for that, you'd get 2H for that, and you'd get 7H for that. However, these have already been simplified. And what have they got in common? Well, what they've got in common is that they've got one variable in each of them. A, one, a term that has the variable in it, and then they've got one constant. I'll do that in a different color. Um, yellow. Okay, so there, there's a constant. Constant and variable, they're already simplified. Nothing we can do with those. Okay. Here's something that can be simplified. We've got 3v, add 4v, add 2. Well, which bit do you think can be simplified? The whole lot? Yeah, do you think we can get, what's that, 9v? I'm afraid not. Let me show you why. Get rid of that. Okay, so the 3v add 4v, they go together, right? They, they're going to make 7v, no surprises there. But it's just like the example before. We can't add the 2 onto 7v. Just They just don't belong together. 3v add 2 add 4v. Well, hold on a second, that looked a lot like the first one, didn't it? 3v add 4v add 2, what's the difference? This is 3v add 2 add 4v. Right, well, what about if I bring the f the v's together, yeah, and then add the 2 at the end. Okay, so 3v add 4v, we said was 7v, and then we've still got the 2 to add. Okay, leave it like that. Can't simplify it anymore. Last example on this page. 3v add 2 add 6 add 4v. Okay, here's my tip for you. If you've got an expression like this where you've got a jumble of terms, some that have variables and some that don't, some that are constants, then bring them all together. As in, bring the ones that have variables together and brings the, bring the constant constants together. So you get that. Yeah? yeah, I've brought now the 3v and the 4v together and I've kept the 2 and the 6 together. Now let's simplify each part. So 3v and 4v make 7v. 
plus 2 plus 6, that's the same as adding 8. So it simplifies to 7v plus 8. Nice. 8f take away 3f take away 7. What can you do? Well, you can do the bits that have the f's to start with. 8f take away 3f gives you 5f. 5f take away 7. Right. Those crazy people who just love to simplify everything as much as they possibly can will go too far at this stage and they'll say, right, well, it's negative 2f. Nope, it isn't. That is as far as you can go. 5f take away 7. What would that look like as a bar model? Call that f. And we need 5 of these. And then we're going to take away 7. I mean, I don't know how much 7 is in comparison to in comparison to 5f. So I'm just going to have to sort of randomly put it kind of there. Um, and call that take away 7. So that's 5f take away 7, but it, it's not 5f take away 7f. That would be something completely different. Okay, next example. 8f take away 7 take away 3f. I was saying before that what you should do is keep the variables together, keep the constants together. So I did a bit of rejigging there just to keep things nice and tidy. And then I can do some simplifying. 8f take away 3f is 5f. And that's it. Done. Right, one more of those rejigging things where we keep the constants and the variables together but separate, if you know what I mean. 8f take away 3f, that's 5f. Take away 7, take away 2. <gasps> What's that going to be? Do you remember back to before? We're taking away 7 and then taking away 2. Is that the same as take away 5? Is that, what is that? Is that add 9? Is that take away, what is it? It's take away 9, of course. So that then boils down to 5f take away 9. And that's as far as you can go with the simplifying of that one. So that is it. We've been on a whistle-stop tour of simplifying expressions with one variable, just looking at adding and subtracting. So what do we look at? n add 3 add 2 is the same as n add 5. n add 1 take away 4 is the same as n take away 3. n take away 1 take away 5 simplifies to n take away 6. n plus n plus n plus n n plus n plus n plus n is 4n. 4n plus 3 plus 2 is the same as 4n plus 5. 4n plus 2n equals 6n. And then when you've got a whole bunch of terms, some that have variables, some that don't, then we need to get them into, uh, into little groups. And the 4n added onto the 2n gives you the 6n. And then the add 1, take away the 4, gives you the take away 3 part. Okay, well, now with those skills, you can apply them to things like finding the perimeter of shapes where the edges or the lengths have been given to you in the form of an expression or an algebraic uh, term. Um, you can apply this to all sorts of other calculations, more complex um, equations later on to help you solve them just by simplifying them. That will make your life easier. And yeah, that's the end of that. Okay, feel free to rewind the video, take some more notes, slow it down because I know I've been going through it very quickly and just check what you've written down in the way of your notes. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Bye.